Okay, this is the fifth race on Wednesday. It's the Coronation Stakes, Group 1, three-year-old fillies, over a mile. And we got the first two from the English 1,000 guineas and the Irish. So Maud's won the 1,000 guineas. So Hero was second in that race. Just couldn't get past. And Meditate was sixth in that race. Since come out and run again, Meditate. This is the short list. The first two in the betting. And this Meditate was second in the Irish 1,000 guineas. And she got mowed down. I think she can definitely improve a lot here. If we have a look at the breeding, she's another fast ground bred filly. No, they never will appreciate it if it is quick. He might end up with a smallish field. And uh, if Ryan Moore can get to the front, Morge is a front runner. So that is the issue. You might end up getting in a speed duel. We'll have to see what happens, how many turn up. But those are the only three I would consider. And at the likely prices, Meditate could well be the each way play. So, and knowing what Aidan O'Brien is like, this filly probably badly needed the run in the 1,000 guineas. She then improved significantly. According to RPR, she improved £20 from the um, 1,000 in Ireland to the 1,000 in uh, from England to Ireland. Now, if you look back here, she won the Breeders' Cup Phillies Turf Grade 1 on fast ground at Keeneland last year. They may be going back for a shot at something similar. But as soon as she got on some fast ground, she also won the Albany Stakes last year on fast ground at Royal Ascot. So she will want it quick. If it comes up quick, uh, I'm not certain Morge and Tahira want it quick. Tahira... Let's have a look at her breeding. Siuni, Cape Cross. She probably wants it on the slow side. She's only had the four runs. Yes, she might be the best filly around. But she's going to be odds on. And if we get quick ground and mid Meditate gets a decent draw, somewhere near the inside rail, because they're going to be going round the bend, if she can get to the lead and say if Morge is drawn wide, Ryan Moore can get to the front and dictate the gallop and then kick... With that extra, you know, with the speed on the fast ground, she could be very difficult to pass. So those are the three against the field for the place pot. We'll see who turns up. I know Bin Sarua fancies himself to beat Tahira again. And on fast ground, that might be possible. But you know what Aidan O'Brien is like? And uh, he's, he's got, you know, a tremendous record. Let's have a look at the past winners. He has only won it once in the last 10 years with a favourite. So... You're not necessarily, you know, he's not necessarily uh, the biggest one for three-year-old fillies. But if this filly steps forward from the other race and appreciates the fast ground, I think meditate for O'Brien could be the one. We'll have to see who they declare. I don't. Has he got another one, O'Brien? He's got another one there. Never-ending story. Yeah. Th those are the three against the field, and hopefully. You know we can get uh, get a get a price on meditate, and you know that could be another one to give us a good run. All right, so that's the coronation stakes on the Wednesday.